Hi, in this episode I'll talk about the new Cage Transform 2 in GIMP 2.8 and by the way I just updated to GIMP 2.8.2 so if you want to do that you can go to the official website GIMP.org and download the new version it's already uh, compiled for Windows and now to use this tool first of all of course we select it then we start adding this nodes around the area we want to affect like this and when we are finished we just click on the starting point to close our selection now if you want to add another node or just adjust the cage without actually transforming the area you can click on again on the create or adjust the cage because when you close the cage it automatically jumps to deform the cage to deform the image so if you go back here you can add another node if you like or you can adjust the cage without actually deforming the image now once you have already uh, adjusted the cage you can click on the deform the cage to deform the image and then uh, you can click on one of these any of these nodes and start deforming the image you see how this works you can also uh, drag with your mouse like this and select more than one node and you see those that are active they become square and now you can adjust all of them at the same time let's click outside let's make it a little bit more bigger like this and now when you want to apply the transformation you hit the enter key and it goes to work and you see here we have some uh, leftover from the original image and in this image uh, getting rid of this will be very easy we can just select the brush tool switch this and just paint over and we're done but if you have an image which is not on a white background uh, you might want to duplicate the image before starting uh, editing and then after editing you will add an alpha channel to the upper layer the one that you transform and then with the eraser tool you can delete parts of the image that are affected with these artifacts and uh, this will get rid of those artifacts like this one and you'll just uh, be kind of blending the two images together so that's it for this tutorial for this new cage transform tool that is kind of been missing from GIMP it's a very nice step forward so that's it bye for now